I'm shooting this on the rear camera of the iPhone 12 actually because my micro SD card is already in my laptop because I'm uploading the footage from the speed test that you're about to see on Final Cut Pro. What you'll see is a pretty usual speed test. Uh, however, something different that I have decided to do is test RAM management as usual, but then leave the phones on the table for one hour. I went and I had dinner and then I came back and I tested the RAM management again. Uh, making the phones open all the apps that I had opened before I went to have dinner and I think uh, That's a clever thing to do because it really shows how strong the RAM management is um, Checking for how long really the phones can keep the apps in the memory not just opening them after Two or three minutes, but actually leaving them there as you would do sometimes Let's say you go and have dinner you go and take a shower and then you come back to your phone after an hour or two and this is when it shows how good the RAM is so please enjoy the video so as you can see I have the phones in front of me and I have closed all the apps in the background and we will start the speed test right away opening a simple app like the phone dialer moving on to the messenger on Facebook and then YouTube, both phones are doing great so far, the iPhone was a bit quicker here and they're very evenly matched when opening the video and the sound was matched perfectly as well so we are moving on from YouTube on to Gmail and both were equal there and then Facebook where the P30 Pro was quicker definitely and then I'm just opening another menu in Facebook and the marketplace because it's important to test in-app performance as well and then the camera where the iPhone was a split millisecond quicker then TikTok where the P30 Pro looked a bit quicker although the iPhone was opening a slightly different thing and then we are going out of TikTok onto Instagram which the iPhone is quicker at and it's also quicker to open my profile iPhones are usually quicker to do that pretty much always and then the iPhone won pretty comfortably in Google Maps and as well right over here where it found the address much quicker onto the app stores they were pretty evenly matched there I'm just looking up the Canon app here where the iPhones seem to be slightly quicker with pretty much the same really the Photos app which is very easy one to open no problems there and then Amazon Prime where the iPhone was actually quicker Daily Motion seemed to be quicker on the iPhone as well although there were different pop-ups right there and then we've got eBay which is an app I use all the time the iPhone was slightly quicker there and slightly quicker to go into the app as well and then on to Tinder I decided to swipe right here just and who knows maybe I'll get a date from this video as you can see I got one match yay moving on to Amazon and they're pretty evenly much there as well going on to twitter the p30 pro i think seem to be a bit faster there photoshop express which is quite a heavy app actually and then back onto the phone dial and messenger where we started and YouTube and now we are heading to Gmail as you can see the RAM management after having opened the apps literally just a few minutes ago is pretty stable on both but it will be much more interesting once we do the sort of longer term RAM management so please stick around until the end of the video we are opening the camera here and then TikTok, probably the most popular app in the world right now, where the iPhone seems to be quicker. A tiny bit. 
and then going back to Instagram where they they are pretty evenly matched actually back to maps which both open in the same time same for the app store going into the canon app the iphone seems to be slightly quicker and then on the prime video where they were pretty even and into all or nothing and then on the daily mail daily video sorry and then back onto ebay and back to tinder where my match was waiting for me back onto amazon and then back onto twitter right there again they're pretty evenly matched the performance seems to be very similar now as i go through the apps here one thing to note is that the p30 pro is almost a two-year-old phone here and i don't know if you know that or if you remember that but huawei uh, promised back when they launched the p30 series that their phones will stay fast after a long time and it seems like they really did deliver on that the p30 pro feels incredibly fast i use this phone very very often i've been using it for almost two years it's just as fast as it was when i bought it and going back onto the phone dialer and the messenger after one hour uh, that the phones have been sat on the table and onto Facebook you see the iPhone has a little reload over there then back onto TikTok pretty evenly matched there and onto the camera this will really show how good the RAM management is on both phones because they have waited there for a little bit and Instagram seems to be pretty evenly matched. Uh, weirdly enough, the P30 Pro opens my profile first here, which is not very usual. And then, as you can see, the iPhone reloaded maps and it reloaded the App Store, which the P30 Pro kept in the memory. So the 8GB of RAM seem to be actually really useful in this comparison. eBay is evenly matched. And then going back to Amazon, uh, that's still in the memory of both phones as you can see the p30 pro is uh, still a really really great performer uh, another thing to note if you're thinking of buying these phones or whether uh, you think of upgrading from the p30 pro to the iphone 12 uh, this is a little sneak peek that it might not actually be quite a, an upgrade because the P30 Pro is arguably just as fast and as reliable, if not faster and more reliable in terms of RAM. Um, that's it from me. Thank you so much uh, for watching the video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. And most importantly, share it with your friends. Because uh, that's how more people will get to see it. Thank you so much. And see you in the next one. Bye bye.